Here's the human face stink bug. Nah, they don't really stink, at least for humans. They give off pheromones that attract other stink bugs, letting them know there's food nearby. The most peculiar feature of it is in the name. A man face stink bug has a face on its back with three black dots drawn in red. The vibrant color of its back warns predators that the bug isn't tasty or even poisonous, while the black eyes draw attention from them to the vulnerable head. Saddleback caterpillar's name is also quite telling. It looks like some creature from another planet with a bright green saddle over its back. And the saddle is, sadly, the only safe part of the thing to touch. The spines you see all over the rest of its body are sharp and highly poisonous. If you want to give it a friendly tap on the back, make sure you don't touch anything else. Well, well, we have a titan beetle next. Meet the largest beetle in the whole world. It can grow as long as your entire palm, complete with fingers. Seeing one in the wild can be a shocking experience, especially if it flies right in your face. But don't fret. Thankfully, this giant is placid and won't bite you if you don't mean it harm. Still, if you make it angry, never let its mandibles touch you. The bug will hiss and bite, and what such snap can crack a pencil in half. What's interesting, an adult titan beetle doesn't feed at all. It doesn't need food to survive. As a larva, it gets enough energy to keep it well-nourished even when grown up. Ooh, I love (laughs) that ability. An even more menacing-looking bug is a giant weeda. Living in New Zealand, these cricket-like creatures look like someone forgot to lock the portal to the infernal. A massive, beefy body with six thorny legs, long alien-looking antennae, and big mandibles that just might cut steel. Well, in fact, these giant insects are quite peaceful and won't bite unless provoked. And even if they do, it's not as bad as you might think. There are videos with weedas biting hands of people holding them and doing no harm at all. So don't let it scare you, even though such an insect might weigh more than a full-fledged sparrow. Atlas moths look like they have three heads, two of which are serpents. These pretty nocturnal flyers have strange shapes on the tips of their wings that look like snakeheads. This seems to be their mode of defense from predators. And that's also why they're sometimes called cobra moths. In Southeast Asia and India, where they normally dwell, atlas moths are often found on butterfly farms producing silk. And that's some sight. The wingspan of one such moth can reach 10 inches. That's larger than your hand. Peacock spiders are perhaps the cutest arachnids in the world, second maybe only to their jumping cousins. They're so tiny, you probably wouldn't even notice one scrambling through your kitchen. But if you get a chance to take a closer look, do it. Peacock spiders are beautiful. They have large beady eyes, a shiny blue and red coat, and cute fuzz on their body and legs. And their mating dance is something else entirely. Too bad they only live in Australia. Another moth on the list, the hummingbird moth. Remember the atlas one, how huge it was? Well, this one's as big as a hummingbird and holds much more resemblance to its namesake than that. The speed at which it flutters its wings, the long tongue to drink flower nectar, and even the sound it makes when flying, all of it makes you wonder if it's really a moth after all. Of course, the fuzzy critter is absolutely safe, and you should consider yourself lucky if you ever see one. Longhorned orb weaver spider is one of the most unusual arachnids in the world. It's just your regular spider in all respects, but for some reason, it boasts two long curved horns on its back. The back itself is bright orange to ward off predators. Red means danger. But scientists are still unsure why this spider needs those prongs. So there's a web of mystery for you. The soft rustling of leaves underneath, a pile of them slightly moving, and a big mighty horn shows up. It's the Hercules beetle, one of the largest beetles on the planet. Almost half of its size comes from that horn on its head. Thanks to this wonderful appendage, you know exactly it's a male. Females don't have it at all. Yet the name comes not only from the horn, but from the amazing ability of this giant to haul extremely heavy loads. Its strength is second only to dung beetles. A Hercules can carry as much as 850 times its own weight. 
If you ever see a bug with five heads wearing a pointy cap, no, you're not on another planet. It's a Brazilian tree hopper. Straight from a sci-fi movie and onto your screens here, this insect is a real mystery. It's small and secretive, and much is still unknown about it. No one knows why exactly the tree hoppers have these fuzzy balls on their heads. But they've only got one head after all. <laughs> that much is certain. Going for a swim in a freshwater pond somewhere in the African tropics. Watch your toes. You can get a giant water bug hunting them. It's a predatory bug and the largest of its kind. With those huge pincers, it's no wonder it's commonly known as an alligator flea and a toe biter. The bite of this water-dwelling monster is really quite powerful. It grabs its prey with the front legs and then slowly munches on it. And when I say it's a predator, I mean it. Giant water bug's favorite food is fish and amphibians. Despite their name, scorpion flies aren't related to scorpions. They get this moniker thanks to their tails, which look a lot like the notorious arachnids. Seeing a flying scorpion is a daunting sight at best, but fear not, these critters are small and gentle, and they can't even bite you. Only the males have such a tail, and they use it to attract females. Hey! What do you imagine when you hear the words walking stick? Certainly not a bug, but that's exactly what it is. Look at this twig and try to guess. Is there something alive on it or not? Yes and no. This twig is not a twig at all. It is a walking stick. These insects have developed a fascinating camouflage. They're long and unassuming, able to stay still for hours on end, which makes them look like dry twigs. But as soon as you touch one, it scrambles away on its gangly legs. Thanks to their appearance, predatory birds often miss walking sticks in the dense foliage. And their Australian kin give off a pleasant scent, something like peanut butter. Ooh, yum. You know, scorpions are interesting little Ouch. creatures. Six legs, two claws, and a powerful stinger. Now, what if humans also wore exoskeletons to protect themselves? So an exoskeleton is mainly made up of chitin, which is a complex material found in insects and reptiles. Thanks to their exoskeletons, these tiny creatures can defend themselves and perform acts of superhuman strength. If you were a scorpion exoskeleton, you'd be able to climb up any building you wanted. With massive claws in the front, it would be easy to grab hold of things and even cut through them. Might be hard to open a bag of chips, though. But at night, you'd have problems – UV rays. They wouldn't hurt you or cut through you or anything, but you'd definitely glow in the dark. Not exactly ideal for sneaking up on someone. A scorpion's tail is venomous and packs a nasty sting. You could use it to sting anyone in your way. Plus, it's long enough that you could defend yourself from a safe distance. Scorpions live all over the world in some of the harshest environments, from freezing icy landscapes to scorching hot deserts. If it freezes, a scorpion can even thaw itself out under the sun. This next creature also has two claws and six legs, but it doesn't have a stinger. It's the mighty crab. Its shell is a lot more powerful than a scorpion's, and it's surprisingly quick. So you'd be seriously powerful in one of those. The downside is you'd only be able to walk sideways. And you'd be delicious to someone like me. There are almost 5,000 species of crab all over the world, each with special skills. In a crab costume, you'd definitely be a master digger. Sure, you'd be doing it sideways, but those legs and claws can get the job done. If there were crab-inspired bodysuits, they'd most likely be made for digging. You could even work underwater. You'd be agile, strong, and you'd look awesome. Humans in ant suits would dominate any construction site. Ants live in colonies around most of the world and rely on strength in numbers. But that doesn't mean each little ant's weak or anything, just the opposite. There are actually already exoskeleton suits out there to help humans do some heavy lifting. But to use the actual strength of an ant would be a game changer. An ant can lift around a thousand times its own weight. In a group, they can drag a bird across a field without breaking a sweat. What's even crazier is that they can carry things while they're climbing straight up a wall, or even upside down. Wow! Imagine a group of humans dragging a jet fighter up the side of the Empire State Building. 
there wouldn't be any need for bulldozers or cranes anymore. Just strap into an ant suit and get her done. Buildings could be inspired by those huge underground ant colonies. Ants are amazing at making tunnels. Imagine wearing a bodysuit that flies through the air like a stealth craft. If you wore a hornet suit, you'd have it made. They have a tough exoskeleton that's surprisingly light and easy to maneuver. Picture a fleet of strong flying acrobats. Oh, and don't forget the stinger. Most people think of hornets as pests, but they're not. They do a lot of good for the ecosystem, like eating up those pesky mosquitoes. Having a hornet suit would be essential for any kind of undercover work, not so much for office work. A strong aerodynamic bodysuit with a powerful stinger? Hey, sign me up! An armadillo uses keratin to make its bodysuit. You know, the stuff your hair and nails are made of? What makes it unique is that it's foldable and durable at the same time. It's made up of hexagon-shaped plates that go all over its back. When there's danger around, it can roll up into a ball. Scientists are studying how to make durable bending glass just like the armadillo's body plates. Humans wouldn't be 100% protected with this thing on, but they'd be able to withstand pretty much anything. You could jump out of a plane, no parachute, land on a rooftop, brush it off, roll off the edge, and land safely on a nearby car. All while being chased by tricked-out cars and helicopters. Nah, I've been streaming too many movies. Being one of the slowest animals on Earth does come with an advantage. You got a heavy shell on you 24-7 for protection. Just like armadillos, tortoise shells are made of keratin. What's sweet about its shell is that it grows with the tortoise. Crabs and other shelled animals have to keep replacing theirs as they outgrow them. Humans would be almost invincible if they wore tortoise suits, but they'd be insanely slow and draw a lot of attention. Still, if something goes down, you could just hide in your shell and wait it out. Hopping around from place to place would be pretty sweet, but what about flying? Grasshoppers can do both. They have a set of wings they tuck in behind them, which they unleash after their epic takeoff jump. Oh, and they come in all shapes and sizes, great for camouflage. Now, a grasshopper can jump around 10 inches high and 3 feet long. Uh, far? Uh, out? Well, that far. Anyway, it's all thanks to its back legs. Grasshoppers basically catapult themselves when they feel threatened or when they see something delicious. If you had a grasshopper suit, you'd be able to jump a whole football field in one go. You can forget about being stuck in traffic. It might not be the most powerful armor, but with those jumping skills and landing skills, getting your weekend shopping done would be a breeze. Or you could be the world's coolest pizza delivery person. Just imagine the tips! The biggest animal on this list doesn't really have an exoskeleton, but it does have a thick, thick skin. This massive beast is one of the most powerful mammals on Earth, and it comes with a strong horn near its nose for protection. Any guesses? Now, it might look scary, but that humongous rhino's an herbivore. It's not going to eat you. But rhinos do attack when they feel provoked, so keep your distance. Their thick skin makes them look like a tank, and it keeps them nice and warm. Now, with your rhino suit on, you'd have a monster advantage over the average human. The thick skin suit would be really useful for extreme weather conditions, cold or hot. And a horn on the top of your head would send a pretty powerful message. And it's not just beep beep. Jaws that look like antlers? Six legs? Meet the stag beetle. Its oversized jaws are used for impressing its friends and sometimes for a little wrestling. But don't worry, these fearsome jaws aren't strong enough to hurt you. A human stag beetle suit would be pretty weird if you saw one walking down the street. But who knows what people will be into in 10, 20 years? Maybe this will be the future of wrestling. Now this reptile has the toughest skin of its kind. Crocodiles are fearsome animals, virtually unchanged since the days of the dinosaurs. Our modern-day croc is still top of the food chain, with scales on its back and a very soft underbelly. Its scales are made from some of the most durable materials out there. And don't forget that powerful jaw! It can crush watermelons like chewing gum. A human croc suit would be fast, strong, but mostly limited to hanging around lakes and rivers. It'd be a great thing to be wearing during a game of hide-and-seek, though. You're it! This last creature takes the grand prize, toughest exoskeleton ever. It's smaller than a rhino for sure, presenting the ironclad beetle. 
Even the name makes people's knees weak. This beetle has interlocking wing covers that make it twice as strong as it should be. But get this, it doesn't even fly. Yeah, it doesn't need to escape from danger. Whatever you throw at it, it can't be hurt, dented, or even crushed. Not even by a car! These beetles can live up to two years, way longer than other beetles who only stick around for a couple of weeks or months. A human suit based on the ironclad beetle? Wow! That name gets me every time. It'd probably be resistant to just about any collision. Walking through moving traffic would be like strolling in the park on a warm afternoon. This suit would be perfect for deep-sea exploration since it's resistant to pressure. That'd make it excellent for outer space adventures, too. Get ready to witness the ultimate showdown in the world of insects as they battle it out in the Insect Combat Championship. Here, the arena becomes their octagon, and their instincts collide in a spectacular display of strength, agility, and strategy. We've brought together a diverse array of contenders from the insect world, showcasing their incredible abilities. From the lightning-fast strikes of the praying mantis to the calculated strategies of the honeybee, let's see who this year's ultimate champion will be. Starting with our little buzzing friends, Honeybees, these incredible creatures, work their tiny wings off, carrying around loads of nectar. More so, a worker bee can carry over half its own weight in nectar and still manage to stay up in the air. But that's not all these amazing bees do. They're like little architects, too. They take charge of building their hives, putting together the intricate structure that we all know. Apart from their amazing strength, they also have a secret talent for construction. And let's not forget about their bravery. When it comes to protecting their home, sweet home, these tiny warriors take on the role of defenders. They don't back down in the face of predators. They stand their ground and ensure the safety of their fellow bees and their precious hive. Unfortunately, in this year's competition, the honeybees only managed to snatch sixth place. A round of applause, please. Moving on to the mighty cockroach. Not particularly a fan favorite. Either way, cockroaches do hit the jackpot when it comes to survival skills. For starters, they can survive for a whole week without their... heads. Also, if they have access to water, they can go without food for up to a month. They can also be lightning fast. Cockroaches are some of the speediest crawling insects. This way, they can find shelter and escape from predators. Or shoe-wielding humans. Now, let's talk about their incredible senses. The cockroach species that are frequently found in America is equipped with a multitude of smell and taste receptors. This makes them experts at finding food sources nearby. Unlike other insects with limited diets, cockroaches are opportunistic eaters. They'll happily chow down on meat, cheese, cardboard, and books. Their versatile eating habits give them a better chance of survival when their preferred food options are scarce. Let's not forget about their strong exoskeletons. It gives them the ability to withstand compression forces up to 900 times their own body weight. Their exoskeletons consist of overlapping plates connected by a stretchy membrane, which allows them to flatten out and provides extreme strength. Even if something is dropped on them, their specially designed spines enable them to transfer traction to their legs, allowing them to escape the pressure unharmed. In our contest, they came in at a reasonable fifth place, so let's hear it for the highly resistant cockroaches. Have you ever heard about our next contestant, the rhinoceros beetle? It's quite a remarkable little creature. Who would have thought that a tiny insect could have more strength than an elephant? Well. Not in terms of absolute weight, of course, only when it comes to proportional strength. Elephants can only carry around a quarter of their own weight, while the rhino beetle can carry a mind-boggling 850 times its own weight. So, what makes these insects so incredibly strong? For starters, they are about an inch long and have incredibly strong muscles. But that's not all. These beetles are masters of balance. They always make sure to keep at least three legs on the ground at all times, which gives them an amazing sense of stability and leverage. This is what allows them to lift such heavy objects with ease. Living in tropical jungles and forests, rhino beetles need all that strength to navigate through the dense jungle floor. You see, they have to push aside branches and debris in search of their favorite food. That's how they got their name, by the way, because of the rhinoceros-like horn on their heads. It's not just for show. They actually use it to move obstacles out of their way. 
Now, don't be fooled by their fearsome appearance. Rhino beetles are anything but ferocious or dangerous. They have a pretty chill diet consisting of rotting fruit and sap. Despite their horned and intimidating look, they won't bite or sting. These gentle insects are harmless and definitely not looking to pick a fight. They also came in at number four on our list of strongest insects, so let's give them a round of applause too. Make room for our next contestants, the leafcutter ants. They are pretty amazing creatures, known for their incredible strength, with jaws that could give any weightlifter a run for their money. There's this specific type of leafcutter ant called Acromyrmex echinacea, and it turns out they have something really special in their exoskeleton. It's like a super tough armor made of this thing called biomineral. This armor is super strong and covers their whole body. No other insect has been found with this biomineral armor before. The only other creature that has it is a sea urchin, and it's found in its powerful teeth. Experiments have shown that leafcutter ants with this armor tend to win when they're battling with other ants. Not only that, but this armor also does an awesome job of keeping fungus at bay. Leafcutter ant nests are no joke either. These things are like underground super cities. They've got thousands of chambers of all different sizes, all connected by tunnels. Should you ever find yourself strolling through the rainforest, you might be walking on top of a bustling metropolis of leafcutter ants. Now, some areas in a leafcutter ant nest are called fungus garden chambers. In a large enough colony, some of these are actually big enough for a full-grown human to stand inside. Leafcutter ants didn't win the competition, but they did make it to the podium. Congratulations on their third place win. Don't let our next fascinating contestant trick you. At first glance, the praying mantis may seem delicate and fragile. In reality, this insect has an intricate anatomy that is built for both strength and precision, making it truly unique among its six-legged buddies. Let's start with its head. Shaped like a triangle, it sports large compound eyes that can rotate a full 180 degrees. This nifty adaptation allows the mantis to effortlessly scan its surroundings for potential prey. More so, its elongated thorax, connecting the head to the abdomen, provides a stable base for its powerful forelegs. Speaking of those forelegs, they are the mantis' most iconic feature. They have sharp spines and a special joint that lets them fold and unfold in a flash. This adaptation not only gives the mantis its name, but also contributes to its incredible hunting skills. Picture a pair of spring-loaded sticks that can snatch unsuspecting prey faster than you can blink. The mantis also has a lightweight exoskeleton and a flexible body, which adds to its strength and agility. The praying mantis took second place in our competition, so congratulations are in order. Now that we've reached the top of the pyramid, the waiting is officially over. The grand prize for the world's strongest insect goes to the dung beetle. This little critter isn't just your ordinary insect. It's actually the strongest insect in the world. And believe it or not, it's the strongest animal on the entire planet. Proportionally, that is. One species can pull over a thousand times its own body weight. That's the equivalent of an average person effortlessly tugging along six double-decker buses filled with people. There are a few factors that contribute to their incredible strength. In addition to their hard exoskeleton, Dung beetles have seriously strong leg muscles. Their legs are uniquely designed for digging and pushing heavy loads. They also have a low center of gravity. This helps them maintain their balance when they're carrying or rolling stuff that is much larger than their own tiny bodies. Dung beetles aren't just strong, they're also super speedy. These guys can zoom around at speeds of up to 0.67 miles per hour. That's quite impressive for such a small creature. 